All right, guys, we can now slide the time slider forward and then we should have two wheels now. And let's just start creating some of this detail here on the main body. So in the front view, let's just select this surface here and create a sketch. Now we can use our two point rectangle once again and start uh, creating a little rectangle here from the top. And this looks fine. So we'll right click, hit OK, and let's just press pull this all the way through the back end. Ensure the operation is on cut. Now in the side view, let's just turn on our canvas so we can see some of this detail. And I want to start doing some of these bolts and embedding here. So let's select the surface and create a sketch. And let's grab our circle diameter circle tool here and we'll just uh, start to outline just one of these. And we'll hit control C to copy this uh, size of the parameter and we'll finish sketch. Now I'm going to select this surface and we'll create a sketch here. And since we already copied the size and parameters of the last circle, we'll just use that tool once again. And we'll just click and drag out and hit Control V to paste those uh, parameters. Now we'll just select this outline and just Control C, Control V, and we'll just paste this along this path. And yes, we could have patterned it, but I prefer to do it this way. And let's just select all of these that we just created. And we'll just press pull these to extrude outwards. Let's rotate this a bit and pull this to about here. Let's control C to copy this. And we copy that uh, parameter for the pool. So we'll just press pull this and we'll pull this up and hit control V to paste the parameter of that. Now we can start um, duplicating this. So let's go to the layers and control C, control V to duplicate that. And we'll just paste this along the side as well. I'm also going to control V once again to paste one right below. And I'm looking at a reference of the actual vehicle on my dual screen. So I'm going to reposition this one. I just pasted. We'll slide it over. I said, okay. Now I'm going to control C control V to paste this one and copy it. And let's just slide this over here. Now we can grab both of these and control C control V to paste those right above. This looks pretty good. Now let's hit F to go into fillet mode. And I want to just fill it one of these really quick. Just to get that parameters. And I'll control C that and go back. Now I can select the edge of all of these. And I have that parameter copied. So once I'm done selecting all of these, I'll just hit control V to paste it. And they'll all um, inherit that parameter. Now let's start combining these together. So let's go to combine above, select the main body, and let's uh, select the first bolt we created. And then we'll go to the bottom and shift select that and we'll hit okay to join those all together. Copy this uh, reflector light here. Let's control C, control V. Let's rotate this 90 degrees so we can adjust and move it to the back. Now let's turn on this canvas. And as you can see, the canvas is off. So I'm gonna use the reference on my dual screen to better position this. And the actual version is a bit higher than the one on the side. So let's just slide this back so it doesn't, you know, protrude through the actual body here. This looks fine here. So we'll just hit OK once we're done. Now let's duplicate this back tire here. So Control C, Control V that. And this will be the spare tire in the back. So let's turn this 90 degrees. And let's uh, start positioning this to match the reference for the back. So let's turn on that canvas. And this is a pretty good position right around here. So let's rotate around and make sure this isn't protruding through the back end. And once we got it set perfectly, we'll just uh, hit OK to confirm this. Now let's go back to the back side now. And we can start working on this tail light detail. So we'll create a sketch on this surface use our circle diameter circle tool and somewhere around here we'll create this circle that matches the reference and I'm using the uh, reference on my dual screen. So let's move this up. It's okay. And let's just start press pulling this. And we'll press pull it outwards somewhere around here. It's going to extend past the reflector and this is the tail light guys. Select the surface and let's create another sketch and we'll use the offset tool. We'll just offset this edge. 
bring it in to somewhere around here. Let's hit OK. Let's grab our two-point rectangle tool and we'll just create a rectangle going horizontal. Now let's select this surface here and this profile here and we'll press pull these to extrude inwards to get that nice cut. And this looks good. So we'll hit OK. Now we'll hit F to go into fillet mode and we'll just round off this edge here. Now what I want to do is go to the layer and Control-C, Control-V to duplicate that and then I'll hit OK and I'll just toggle one off and I'll go to Combine and I'll combine the main body with this duplicate and hit cut so we have a nice cut through and I'll go to fillet this edge here so we can have a nice little rounded surface where it looks like it was actually modified to fit the tail light. What I'd like to do now is just round off this hood so let's go into fillet mode and we'll just grab this edge and we'll just pull this up a bit so it's not so sharp. And also let's uh, round off this edge here and it goes along the door so Back in the fillet mode, let's just select all these edges. And I think we have one more edge we can select. So here, let's just round this off a bit. It's going to be a slight, nothing too much. And once we're satisfied, we'll just hit OK. That looks good.